Hey, welcome to my channel Technologies in Industry 4.0. Today, in this video, I will teach you about the web scraping in Python. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. So, let's start the video. Web Scraping in Python Introduction Web scraping in Python is a process for taking out information from websites. This can be prepared by hand. On the other hand, it is commonly more rapid, well-organized, and less error-prone to automate the assignment. We can get non-tabular and poorly structured data from websites and then change it into a structured and usable format through web scrapping. Its best example is a CSV file or spreadsheet. Similarly, web scrapping can support us documentation data and pathway changes to data online. In this article, we will understand the web scraping technique in depth. Description Web scraping is used by various arenas to gather data not effortlessly obtainable in other formats. It is a valuable tool even for just a casual programmer. If we require to check our latest homework assignments on our university page and have them emailed to us, web scraping targets particular information on the pages visited. Methods of web scraping There are two methods of extracting data from websites. The manual extraction method. The automated extraction method. The manual extraction method. In this method, we manually copy-paste the site content. However, boring, time-taking and tedious it is an operative way to scrap data from the sites having good anti-scraping actions similar to bot detection. The automated extraction method. Web scraping is the computerization of the data taking out the process from websites. This occurrence is completed with the assistance of web scraping software well known as web scrapers. They automatically load and excerpt data from the websites created on user needs. These may be custom made to work for one site and can be arranged to work with any website. Web scraping tools. Web scraping tools. Web scraping tools are in detail technologically advanced for extracting data from the internet. These are also known as web harvesting tools and data extraction tools. These tools are beneficial for anyone to gather particular data from websites. Because they offer the user structured data taking out the data from a number of websites. Below are some most standard web scraping tools. I.O. Scraping Hub. I.O. Parse Hub. I.O. Python Web Scraper. We can find a suitable package for web scraping in Python's library Erlib. It comprises tools for working with URLs. The erlib.request module comprises a function called erlipin. That may be used to open a URL within a program. Type the below to import erlipin in idle's interactive window. From erlib.request import erlipin. The web page that will open is at the below URL. URL equals http colon slash slash olympus.realpython.org slash profiles slash Aphrodite. We can pass URL to Erlipin to open the web page. Page equals Erlipin URL. Erlipin returns an HTTP response object. Page. HTTP.client.http response object at 0x105FEFA20. Initially use the HTTP response objects.read method to extract the HTML from the page. That returns a structure of bytes. At that time use dot decode to decode the bytes to a string using UTF-8. HTML underscore bytes equals page dot read. HTML equals HTML underscore bytes dot decode UTF-8. We can print here the HTML to understand the contents of the web page. Print HTML. HTML. Head. Title profile Aphrodite slash title. Slash head. Body color equals yellow. Center. BRBR. 
IMG SRC equals slash static slash Aphrodite dot GIF forward slash H2 name Aphrodite slash H2 BR BR Favorite animal Dove BR BR Favorite color Red BR BR Hometown Mount Olympus Slash center Slash body Slash HTML we can extract information from the text in a changed way once we have the HTML as text. Text extraction from HTML by using string methods. We use string methods to extract information from a web page's HTML. We may use .find to search via the text of the HTML for the title tags and extract the title of the web page. We can use a string slice to extract the title if we see the index of the first character of the title and the first character of the closing slash title tag. Meanwhile, dot find returns the index of the first event of a substring. We may get the index of the opening title tag by passing the string title to dot find. Title underscore index equals HTML dot find title. Title underscore index. We want the index of the title that one. We can add the length of the string title to title underscore index to acquire the index of the first letter in the title. Start underscore index equals title underscore index plus len title. Start underscore index. Here, develop the index of the closing slash title tag by passing the string slash title to dot find. End underscore index equals html dot find slash title. End underscore index. Lastly, we can extract the title by slicing the HTML. Title equals HTML, start underscore index, end underscore index. Title. Below is another profile page with some Messier HTML that can scrape. URL equals http colon slash slash olympus.realpython.org slash profiles slash Poseidon. Extract the title from this new URL using the below method. URL equals http colon slash slash olympus.realpython.org slash profiles slash Poseidon. Page equals Erlipin URL. HTML equals page.read.decode UTF-8. Start underscore index equals html.find title plus len title. End underscore index equals html.find slash title. Title equals html. Start underscore index, end underscore index. Title. Conclusion. In this article, we learned web scraping and its methods and how to request a web page with Python's built-in Erlib library. This is fun to write automated web scraping programs. The internet has no lack of content that may lead to all kinds of exciting projects. We must check the website's terms of use before starting the scrapping.